Hey yo, what is good YouTube? I'm Magnolia from Sidrail and today I'm going to be showing you how to make kill vol type beats with wavy piano. So let's get straight into it. First step is going to be putting the BPM to anywhere between 170 to 190 BPM. You really want those up tempo energetic beats, so I'm going to do 180 for this tutorial. Obviously, you want to start off with a piano, so I'll just add True Pianos, which is one of my favorite piano plugins. Um, it has a couple nice presets. I use this exact one. You can copy the settings if you want. So yeah, let's get into making the melody. Alright, so I made this super simple chord progression. A super fire, but pretty simple right now. So I'll add a couple top notes, switch up some of the notes in the chords, give it a bit more rhythmic. And yeah, we're gonna be good after that, so let's do it. So the last step to making the melody sound better is just pressing Alt R to randomize it. And make sure bipolar and pattern are turned off and just turn on the velocity just a bit. And then press Alt S to strumize them. And yeah, here we go. This is the final melody. Yeah, that's fire, man. For real. Alright, let's get into the next step. We're gonna add some counter melodies. So, I'm gonna open up Serum. I really fuck with Serum. I do most of my stuff in Serum. You can see I have quite a couple of presets here. Let me know if you want me to drop a bank for you all. Alright, um, I'll choose this preset, Purity 2. I know it's some kind of ambient sounding sound. Yeah, I fuck with that. We can drown that in the reverb and just like, play in the background later. So, I'll add a little counter melody. That should be good enough for now. I'm gonna add some top bells. Alright, so here's a finished melody. Hey, this turned out so fucking fire. Let's get it, man. Alright, so next step is adding drums, of course. I like to start with the clap just to get basic bounce going and know where I want to go with it. So I'm gonna add this clap. A uh, little tip to improve your workflow, always have the midis you always use ready. So like the clap, you're not gonna change where the clap is in your, in your beats usually. So I just have these claps, one is over like 4 bars, one is over, two, over 9 bars. So yeah, here you go. Alright, so the next step is adding the hi-hat and I have this one pulled up right here. So what I like to do with it is just place in a 4-step pattern, and then go into the piano roll, copy all the notes, pull them over, and then hover over one of the selected notes, press Alt and scroll down. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it more of a shaker. Yeah, that's fire. Next step is adding some bouncy snares, here we go. Honestly, when you're making drum patterns, it doesn't really matter what you're starting with. Um, just make sure that you're gonna start with the patterns that pop up in your head. So when you have your melody playing and you're like, yeah, I want my 808s like this, then instantly drag in the 808 and do the 808 pattern because that's gonna boost your creativity. You can actually use your creativity to create something and not just have it in your head and then forgetting because you're doing the high hit pattern first. Alright, so the next step is going to be choosing my 808. What I do for choosing my 808s is I imagine what type of 808 would fit the beat so that the artist would hop on it. Because you gotta keep in mind, one 808 can change the entire feeling of your beat and it can make it from a Juice World type beat to a Gunner type beat or something like that. 
Um, so for kill wall, you want to do like short, aggressive 808s. And there's this one 808 in a Nick Mirror kit. I recycled it and cleaned it up a bit. It's called the like, All Girls Are the Same 808. And yeah, I'm gonna use that because it's short and aggressive. Yeah, this turned out so hard. All right, next and last step is gonna be adding the kit. All right, now some more secret sauce for y'all. To make your kick follow the 808 pattern, just simply copy the notes from the 808 pattern, paste it into your kick pattern, and then see which notes you don't want the kick to play. Um, for example, I only delete those, I think. And those. Yeah, there we go. And then just press Shift D and Alt K. Yes, sir, here we go. Alright, here are the finished patterns. I'm gonna get into mixing in just a second. Let me play it for you again. Yeah, turn off fire, man. I'm not gonna lie. So, let's link those to a mixer channel. What I'm gonna do first is showing you all how to mix a piano so it really gets this emotional kill wall type of feeling. So, right now, it sounds pretty fire but it doesn't have like the feeling we're going for. And here's the real secret sauce. I'm telling y'all, this trick is gonna help y'all improve your pianos for kill wall type beats so much. So what I'm gonna do is I'll load up an instance of Patcher, right? If you're not into Patcher, if you don't know what it does, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna use a preset right here. So let's open up this one preset. Oops, I opened up the wrong one. So let's open up this one preset. It's called Vibrato Effect, it's over here. And once you load it up, you're just going to see this uh, surface right here, which is easy to control. Just turn down the speed a bit and the range to about here. And what this does is it gives your piano a little pitch wobble effect. Listen to this. That's so fire, man. Maybe pull down the range, which is pretty much a mix knob, just a bit. After that, I'm just going to load up an instance of Isotope Vinyl. Alright, and then ju I'm just gonna increase the warp depth to around like 15% or something. Now to finish off this effects chain, I'm just gonna add a little bit of EQ, cut out some of the lows. And boost some of the mids, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb. There we go. Now I'm not gonna go over every single channel in my mix. Um, if you all want a mixing tutorial on how to mix Kill or emotional type beats in 2020, I've got some real secret sauce to show y'all, so let me know in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be it for today. I just mixed and mastered the beat and laid it up for y'all to hear it. Um, if you enjoyed watching me make this beat, make sure to stay subscribed to the Side Real YouTube channel. We're dropping tutorials every week. We're also gonna be dropping free loop kits, drum kits, and MIDI kits every week. One loop kit by me is already out. Make sure to go download it right now. Links in the description. Yeah, if you like this video, drop a like, drop a sub, drop a nice comment, and enjoy.